here we go! Hello everybody, and your boy is back. I recently um, came back from Kansas City. That was uh, my vacation spot. So I was gone for like a few days, but I've already um, still came in contact with a few people, so... Now, now earlier, now earlier this week, while I was gone, I sent a video with some new sound fonts that I used in some songs I made, which included some of the songs that that I already remade. But Be Master Fourteen asked. I thought I thought he thought well he didn't really ask me but he thought that there you can use only one instrument in the sound font. That is not clearly true. Thanks to Koala, he um, helped me out on this. So, here's what I'm going to do. Today, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to actually do this. Now, let me skip back a little. Oh, okay. So, you're going to go to library. Then you go to audio. Sounds. And go to banks. And then you could add any type of sound font in there. Now what you do after it is, is what you do. You go to, you click this, AU, wait, AU sampler, sampler, and you choose mono or stereo, and all you do is, go to settings, import instrument, and all you have to do is choose one of these. But I'm going to choose Super Mario World, and you can't just choose, you can't choose every single one, but just in one time. But so you choose options, there's a percussion bank and a metal dick bank, and you choose any instrument from there. So let me try, I'm going to try the harp, see how that works. No way, that was the <laughs> that was the vibraphone. My bad. Um, here, try that again. All right, and harp. There we go. And of course, you could play some of the sounds in here. <laughs> yeah, just having a little bit of fun here. Now, here's what you do. After that, you can test it. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Now that's what you do for the rest of the MIDI, or MIDI, as some people call it. Now what you can also do, is you can save the instrument from patches, or well, into patches. And then, okay, and it saves here, so, Super Mario World, harp, and it automatically saves from there. And as you can see, it's kind of easy. But the thing you have to do is type in library. Um, <laughs> oops. But here's the problem. It doesn't show up. But all you have to do... Is go here. I'm trying to find it which is gonna be a little difficult but if you click right here there's a little way you can do it whoa <laughs> oops yeah you just hack in and there and you're already there look at that now here's the instruction again audio sounds banks and add it from there 
Well, anyway, Dylan, I hope that helps you out on your question. And for anyone who also wants to do it on GarageBand, this is a tutorial for you to do it too. Now, I hope um, you guys hope hope you guys like this t tutorial. And if there's any other questions in my DIYs, feel free to ask me in the comments below or via Google Hangouts. That's all that I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Till then, stay swaggy, my boys and girls. One more one. <laughs> I would like to give a few shout outs to Koala, Mr. Cringe, It's B Boy, and B Master 14. If Koala didn't help me today, I wouldn't get a chance to even try these sound fonts on GarageBand. And Mr. Cringe is B Boy and B Master 14. If you guys didn't do any of these BE music customs, I wouldn't be able to try them try it myself. Plus, I finally get a chance to even use sound fonts. Special thanks to Koala. If you guys didn't do them, I wouldn't have done it today. Very special thank you to you for mentioned.